like normal on the farm something's not working a cat 246 the hydraulics laid down on us we think it's probably going to be the one of the pumps in there that's a pain in the butt to get to chickens are gone we're crusting needing some barn space so we got to get it out of the way about far for the course right there That sounds about right. You let your friends borrow some equipment. This doesn't work. Lost the bolt and it's out of fuel. Thank you, Jeremy. Borrow it anytime you need it, bud. Whatever you need. Come get it. It's yours. Whatever you need. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Pick up a little bit on your bucket. Got the truck moved into position a little bit better. We're going back. I'll bring it on back some more. Back then, let's go try to load. Our plan is we're going to use the 863 Bobcat, push on the front, get the chain, bring the mini eggs, and pull and load it on the trailer. Take it alone. Quick break brought to you by Jeremy Stripling. There's a good chance that thing may never run again. Speaking of equipment that needs work, I'm gonna show y'all Bobcat. So, 
I've actually already turned the key off. Like I said, everything we own needs work. That was pain. Think Catherine will ever run again? Nope. Neither one of them. <laughs> Catherine's loaded, chained down. We didn't really have any bad hiccups other than the mini X won't hardly run. Is it next to go to the doctor or the graveyard? I think both of them are pretty close to going to the scrap metal pile. Other than it's got some good tires on it. She does have some good shoes on her. She's headed to the shop. I don't know if I said it earlier, but It'll crank up, but has no hydraulic functions, won't go forward or back, bucket won't go up, and uh, even the radiator fan's not running, so sounds expensive.